Police say that tips have stopped attacks. Elaine, the FBI has said that terrorist attacks in this country could have been prevented if only someone had reported suspicious activity. Well, Jeff, England has increased its threat level, as you know, from severe to critical, with officials concerned another attack may be imminent. How will U.S. officials be working with their British counterparts to address the threat? Well, as you know, historically, they've had a, a great working relationship, and from what we hear, that is happening now, where they are coordinating, and U.S. intelligence officials are providing uh, whatever assistance they can. But historically, as I said, the Brits and U.S. intelligence and law enforcement officials have worked well, uh, especially when it comes to tracking down leads in terrorism cases, uh, and that's what's happening now. Well, Jeff, in your piece, you touched on the shows of force, but what are officials here doing to keep people safe at similar events? Well, this is something that will take time in terms of figuring out a plan to better protect large venues like the Verizon Center here in Washington, D.C. There are uh, arenas like this one across the country. And so when you see what happened in Manchester and how that unfolded and how the attacker didn't put his plan into action until the end of the show and as people were going out, what that has done has exposed these this new type of vulnerability. Ability. We, we've seen it before from ISIS, uh, but the, the fact that this was a successful attack that caused so much carnage is something that law enforcement officials across the country are taking a closer look now. And how do you counter that threat? What we've seen with ISIS and Al Qaeda is that these are evolving threats. And what happened last night is another sign that law enforcement has to adjust as well. And Jeff, the State Department has a travel alert in place for Europe. What can you tell us about that? Well, this is the type of travel alert that we've seen before, but the one that we're talking about that you're referring to, Elaine, came out earlier this month, and it just warned that people traveling to Europe, that they should be aware of open spaces, places where tourists gather, or uh, these large venues behind me like the Verizon Center. And so uh, this was an alert that went out uh, warning that terrorists can strike at, without a moment's notice. Uh, and it's it, it wasn't really a new warning, but just a reminder for people who are traveling overseas, uh, specifically to Europe. All right, Jeff Begay's in Washington. Jeff, thanks.